Uh, today is a chill beach day slash work day. I have a bunch of work to get done, so I'm gonna get work done on the beach today, which is glorious. And the only thing I like have to do today, other than all my work, is I have to get ice cream again because I had ice cream yesterday and it was just heaven. So I need to do that again. I feel like I had something else to tell you about today, but I don't remember what it was. I'm just staring at the beautiful ocean, and so I don't have a care in the world. I feel like I haven't been giving that many pregnancy updates. I feel like right after I announced I was pregnant with the twins, it was like every video was talking about my symptoms and what I was going through. And since I've been on my little trip, I haven't talked about it too much. I've just said like, oh, I'm kind of nauseous or whatever. Last night, I wonder if anyone else has had this. Last night, the nausea kept waking me up. Like the nausea was so bad that I would wake up from like nausea pain. It was so annoying. <laughs> I wonder if it's a wrap. I've never been woken up. I mean, this pregnancy is the first time in my life where I've ever been woken up from being so nauseous. My body's like, I am too nauseous to even sleep. I just need to be awake and be nauseous. It was really weird. I'm very tired now. Oh, and I've been craving one of the, I'm gonna make a video eventually about all the cravings I've had, like this pregnancy, because they've been really weird. Like with Flynn, it was like, I craved very specific foods and I wanted them all the time. Like I needed in and out every day. I needed Cocoa Pebbles every day. I needed chili every day. Like I have very specific strange cravings. Cravings. This pregnancy, I have very specific strange cravings, but I don't want them all the time. I want them like once or twice, and then I never want them again. Something I've craved a few times this pregnancy, like strongly, is a Bloody Mary. And I don't even drink, like I, well obviously I don't drink right now because I'm pregnant, but before I was pregnant, I probably would have one or two alcoholic drinks a year. And for some reason it sounds so good. So we got stuff to make virgin Bloody Marys. Look at that ocean breeze. Oh, by the way, this is the fit of the day. So this is my bathing suit today, a little 50s number I got on Amazon. It was in my Amazon review video. Here's the bump. It changes, guys. Sometimes I look huge, and then sometimes it's just like a tiny bump. This is my bump today. It'll get fuller as I eat more because then it'll be full of food. And then I can be like, look how cute my baby bump is, but really it's just all the food I have to be eating. Okay, here we go. Bloody Mary mix. Again, I'm not a Bloody Mary type girl. I'm not an alcohol type girl. I just don't like drinking. It doesn't make me feel good. I'm not drinking alcohol today, don't worry. I'm just drinking the Bloody Mary mix. So we got two. We got Sonoma Gourmet Bloody Mary mix and we got whatever this is. But this one looks like fancy and it says the real dill. It has like a pickle inspired mix and I love pickle so I feel like I'm gonna really be into this. So let's try it. Smells like pickles! Yes, a pregnant woman's dream! Okay, so I'm gonna shake her up. And basically, is there directions? I think you just add vodka if you're gonna have vodka, but if you're not gonna have vodka, I think you just, I think you just drink it. Okay, see, I feel like my stomach already looks bigger. <laughs> I feel like it's been 30 seconds and my tummy already looks like more pregnant. But am I crazy? I don't know, okay. Olives, celery. Oh my God, I'm not a good bartender. Cheers. Spice time. Pickly deliciousness. Very pickly, very good. Oh, delish. I can make you one, I don't know how much alcohol you want in. Mm. Therapy. Rachel came by to visit outside, which was fun. And now I'm done with therapy, so I'm gonna go play at the beach with my kid. Glenn, what are you doing? What you doing? Oh, we got some bubbles in here. Oh my gosh. What's in there? Whoa. About the spaghetti or the sand crabs What? Flynn, do you find some spaghetti? Get that spaghetti out of here. Come on. Get out of here, spaghetti! Get out of here, spaghetti! Ah, oh, get all that spaghetti out of there! Tell me about the crab you saw. You saw a crab? Oh yeah. Should we go for a walk down to those rocks and see if we can find more crabs? Let's do it. Come on, us, Grandpa! Come on! Come on, us, Grandpa! Come on! 
us. Do you want Grandma to come too? Grandma, come. Grandma, come. Grandma, come. Grandma, come. Come, come us. What's Daddy doing? Oh no, he comes the wave. Run away. <laughs> what? Come on, I know. Rock. I'm going ah. Slippery. Whoa. Yeah, baby. You guys, look, Grandma, I found something beautiful. I can do We're gonna get some ice cream. Come on. You're keeping your mask on. Good job. What do you see? Oh, the golden, um, I pickled, he said I pickled the... Uh, you see the poo, poo truck right there? But should you go in and check it out? Yes. Okay, of course. Of course. <laughs> Eric and I are on a little walk and he popped in the store and he came out with a present for me. And it's this necklace that says mama. Look at how cute. I'm wearing another necklace that says mama right now. <laughs> that you gave me. <laughs> Look at us being romance. Watch out for my homeschool braids. We got ice cream, it was delicious. Flynn pooped while eating chocolate ice cream. That's Yay. fucking cool. Man. That's awesome. Mama. I really like that. Thanks, lovey. Kind of spread out. Oh, that's so cool, thank you. You I like it? I love it, thank you. Yeah, I feel good. I think that's really cool, man. I like it. Pretty. We're gonna have pizza. Whoa. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Did you pizza? see that? I go, pizza. We're gonna have pizza. pizza. I am asleep. I'm very tired. What? Liars. It says the dryer says it's like done. It's video game. not done. I'm trying to wash my panties, y'all. You guys, oh, it says clean filter. Ugh, better clean the filter. I'll be right back. Guys, I have majorly failed at vlogging today. I apologize. I wasn't feeling good and I was working and I have a million excuses that none of you care about. Yeah, it just was a hectic day. And tonight, Eric made me take a picture. He was being sweet. He wanted like a good memory, but I was like so insecure and like feeling like not cute and gross. That a major like spiral. I went crazy, huh? You're crying on the toilet. I started crying. <laughs> We took pictures and I looked at the pictures. And you went and cried on the toilet. And then I went and cried on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and I came out of the bathroom and I go, I'm crying and I don't know why. And he just gave me a hug. I just like, I don't know, I'm just um, pregnant I guess. And I just cried on the toilet after looking at pictures of myself because I didn't like them. And I felt so ugly in them. Oh. What? It's beautiful. My beautiful necklace. Poor Mr. Stockland got majorly sunburnt. So he's in agony. If you guys have ever had a bad sunburn, oh, it's awful. It's the worst. Because I was building that sandcastle for him. I why. know. I building, that's how we got burned. Building those I know. Tunnels. He's building a sandcastle and tunnels for Flynn for hours before Flynn even got here in the sun. And then he got majorly burnt. So you need to take a cold shower and you need to, and then I've got, I'll rub some aloe on ya. Sunburns are the worst, man. Those hurts so bad. Yeah, I felt pretty yucky a lot of today. I, I really have noticed a huge difference in when I get those IVs and when I don't. And um, tonight I was a disaster. I was emotional and just crying a lot. <laughs> but at least I was aware that it was crazy. I was like, I'm crying for no reason. What's wrong with me? I was like very aware of how, <laughs> how it was not okay. Like I was aware of how it was pregnancy hormone related, but then just feeling nauseous. I'm finally feeling okay. It's like 1030 at night. Uh, we were watching more home renovation shows and house hunter type shows. Eric's about to shower and then I'm gonna aloe vero him. And um, we just made popcorn. I ate an entire bowl of popcorn by myself, which is embarrassing, um, but it was delicious. So I don't really regret it. And I'll check in with you guys in a little bit if I have something to say. Right now, I don't really have much to say. All right, we're down in the bedroom now. 
watching TV in the bedroom. But I just wanted to point out to you guys something I love about my relationship with my husband. And that is that every night, without fail, all we do is talk about how much we love Flynn and things that made us laugh that day. Which is kind of iconic, because I remember before we were married and had kids, because now we have multiple. We went to that, remember when we went to that Mexican restaurant? Yeah, we went to we a Mexican restaurant. Idea, we talked about the idea of having kids. Yeah, we talked about the idea of having kids. We just kind of brought it up like casually and like what would be fun about having kids together. And the thing we said was like, imagine like talking about them late at night after they've gone to bed and like making fun of them, not in like a mean spirited way, but like just like laughing at the cute, funny things they've done that day. Good and that's what we do every night. That conversation started because we were talking about Gus. Oh yeah, we're talking so about Gus. Before Flynn, every night we would go to, before we go to sleep, we would talk we about, talk about the Gus dumb and the dumb things that Gus, Gus had done that day. Yeah. And so we're like, oh my gosh, like imagine we had kids, like would we do that with our kids too? Like here, hold this up. <laughs> Flynn does this all day, stuff like this. Dada, 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 watch this. You see that? <laughs> 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 this is the eye thing. <laughs> he did this thing. He goes, Dada, 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 watch it. Dada, watch this. Mm. You see that? <laughs> Like, and then this morning, today after his nap, he woke up from his nap and he's very cuddly after his nap. So he's like cuddling me and like sweet and we're just like quietly talking. I said, do you want to go outside? He's like, no, I need cuddles. So he's just like really quiet. We're just laying in silence. He sits up and he goes, mama, do this. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and so then I did that and then he's all, <sighs> and like laid down and felt like cuddled back into me. He's so funny. Like, dada, 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 watch this. Dada, dada, do this. And then he'll like stomp his foot and you have to stomp your foot too. He's so funny. And we just like crack up at night talking about the funny stuff that he said or did that day. Like literally that is our nighttime routine is like talking about Flynn. He is literally the coolest person in the whole world. I'm obsessed with him. I miss him, he's at grandma's house tonight. But we're gonna go get him in the morning. So early in the morning we have to get out of this Airbnb and go get Flynn and grab some lunch and then head back to Los Angeles. So yeah, that's the plan. I love it here. I don't want to leave, but I also like, I'm happy to go back and see the cats. And um, I have a doctor's appointment Friday that I'm excited to see the twins and possibly find out the genders. I don't know, or the sex of the babies. I don't know. It's all so confusing. I thought I was going to find out like over a week ago and I didn't find out. So I don't know when I'm, or if I'm ever going to find out. That's all. Okay, bye. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.